Hello, welcome to my first tutorial on Excel tips. Uh, I know there are a lot of others out there. Mine is going to be geared a lot towards a lot of beginner stuff. Things that the average person wants to be able to pick up and learn how to do a little trick here or there just to make their life a little easier. I'm always going to make sure to explain everything as clearly as possible. And if I didn't explain anything clearly, please just leave a comment and I'll do my best to try to answer it and clarify it, that up for you. So the task at hand today is you're creating, you have this this spreadsheet that you need to give to people and you want them to enter in information. You want them to enter in the different things that they use and how many they have. So we're going to say this is a cleaning company. So we have these possibilities. Now obviously this list may be bigger. And when this list is bigger, this is really where it comes in handy. Now you're they wouldn't see this list so let me just you know, for demonstration purposes you know we have that hidden so the person needs to well I need glass cleaner and you know I need some paper towels and so and that take and that's gonna take a bit of time to have to enter that in all the time but a person could maybe you know as you can see here they could go PAP like me you know I'm a terrible speller and they could spell it all wrong and so as you can see here it's all different now sure you can do a spell check and spell check is gonna uh, ooh, it looks like I got some other things there you go spell check is gonna pick up on these things and you could change it that way but you don't you don't want to necessarily have to go do all that because spell check also ignores some things for example capitalizations here we have an uppercase here we have a lowercase and to have to go in and do that sure if it's five or six records it's not a big deal but if you're talking five and six hundred that starts to become quite an ordeal to go in and correct all these and so we have this list and this is where to remedy this problem I learned about something called data validation and if you haven't used this this is an excellent tool in Excel and I use it all the time and I think you probably will find it's extremely useful now with data validation in 2007 it's under the data tab and you go over to the data validation button now before you click it you do need to highlight the cell that you wanted to apply to or cells so let me just clear that a little tip is excuse me a little tip is I always start with just one cell because you can copy the data validation and apply it to other cells so highlight one cell click data validation and we're gonna see here it says allow any value so basically what data validation is it looks in the cell and says does this meet the criteria set and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it from any value to allowing anything from a list we want it to say anything from this list of items and so and we're gonna have it ignore blanks now what that means is if it's blank it pops up an error saying hey you need to put some data in here so uh, for this purpose we're gonna go ahead and just say ignore the blank and we're gonna give the option of an incel drop-down because here we only have a few options but if you're having 40 and 50 options and it can get real frustrating because they may not know what they can type they just know it's not letting them type and so you give them the option of an incel drop-down now the source what you do is you just click and drag and highlight so we're gonna highlight the items that we want and that's where the list is coming from this is allowing list and here's the source right there and click OK and it's that simple so now if I look here so say if I try to type we'll just do some I know Bob's not there we're gonna see it pops up an error message saying hey you know all right I'm gonna retry this and I can go glass cleaner and then it lets that OK now say I'm like oh well I want something else now instead of typing it I can just click this little button and I get a drop down and select it that way and it works it works beautifully for many things sorry I have to resize that and so now I can just take that and just clear the cell and you can use this little the little tab button right here the fill and just fill it down and you can see all of these you now have your your drop downs added for your data validation and it won't let anything else to be typed in there which is a great tool to have. Now, another thing. Now, say when you're going, you don't. When you say if you're going to be doing this for an hour, you don't want to have to be clicking, and you, but you still don't want to have to be typing all the time. So we want to be able to give the option of Excel's autocomplete feature. Now, we wanted to do it all the time, no matter what, even if it hasn't been entered yet. Because if I start typing glass cleaner here, and then I start typing it again, it's going to let it happen. Now, but if I didn't type it in uppercase. Now, the good part about the autocomplete is if I make this uppercase, even if I'm typing lowercase and hit enter, it's going to capitalize the first the first two letters. 
and so which can help um, from duplicate records that really aren't duplicate at all. So what you can do is you can do something, let me switch to the other tab, is you have your database right here and you put all your options above your the row, I'm sorry, the column, and then hide it like that. And then people can't see it of course and so you can start you can start typing it in that way and it'll start auto completing. Now as you see we don't have the validation here. So let me let me unhide and so I'm going to do data validation. But I'm going to show one more tip while I'm here. What you can do is highlight the range and then click go to the right here and type items. Now what that does is it's naming this range and creating what's called a list. And so as opposed, you know, when I go to data, val oh, sorry, cancel, click the cell. When I go to data validation and I'm selecting a list, instead of having to go and highlight the range, I can say it's equal to items. So anything in that list, it's going to give me the option to be able to select from right there. Fill that down, delete the contents. And you see I'll be able to do that now. I mean, if I take that and I move it over here, it's still going to work just fine because it looks at it as a list. And in my next tip, what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic list so you can add or remove things to it and it will affect the data validation as you go. And I'm also going to show you how to do it where it looks at a previous cell and be able to determine what it is. So for example, say we have dish soap. And I want to say, well, dish soap comes in a case and it doesn't come in a bottle or it comes in a bottle and not a case. I want to be able to select that and it's going to automatically give me my correct options in another cell based upon what I picked before. And that's what my next video is going to be on. I hope you enjoyed this, my, my very first video.